Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Polycarp, one of the great early Christian martyrs uh, of that early church. And uh, St. Polycarp is one of those early bishops at the same time who gives us a good glimpse into what the life of the early church was because we have his letters on his epistolary, which is conserved from that, uh, basically from those early centuries in the third century of the, uh, uh, and, and, for, and second century of, uh, of uh, Christianity. Uh, he gives us uh, a detail of what were the worries, what were the, uh, uh, even some of the, uh, the, the conflicts that were going on in those early communities. Eventually he is martyred, and his account of martyrdom is one of the more famous ones as well. There were many people who were there who witnessed it, and it is one of the more detailed accounts of martyrdom we have in the early church from those early persecutions. And so St. Polycarp is one of those martyrs remembered today. That's why everything's in red. We remember the life, the blood that is shed for that, for that, for the faith. At the same time, we aprovechamos. We're going to take advantage of today to welcome also a new postulante, uh, and who begins that uh, life of formation, that way of also giving a little bit more of his life for his faith. I would like to remind people, yeah, we, we think of the saints and, and the early church, most of the saints, almost all of them in the early church were martyrs. And it seemed that the only way for sainthood was martyrdom, was to shed your blood, to be covered in that red for Christ and for the faith, for the church even. And for the longest time that became the standard of sainthood. You had to die for your faith. And a reminder that we're called to give our life for Christ as Christ himself the martyr by excellence gave his life for the will of the Father and for us as well, in love. But don't forget that there is another type of sainthood that's not martyrdom. We have the martyrs and you have the confessor saints. Those saints who perhaps no les cobraron la vida. They didn't have to shed blood for their faith, but nevertheless they still gave their life for that faith. And those are your confessor saints like St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Philip Neri, or many of the other saints that come on later. Well, once the church is established, once it's recognized, once it's no longer persecuted, well, martyrdom starts to fade away. It doesn't go away completely, but little by little it yields to the confession of the saint, or that saint who confessed with his life that, uh, that faith. We may be called to a martyrdom, we may be called to confess our, our faith with our life, and at the end that martyrdom is a confession through life, perhaps accelerated in a certain way. But nevertheless, that life and that giving of our time, our life, our intelligence, our intellect, especially in the, faith, in the stage that you're being undertaking now as a postulante, is a way of giving that life, is a way of participating in a certain way in that martyrdom. Well, we're not talking que vamos a martirizar. We're not going to martyrize you. In, in for me. At least I don't know how uh, Manny is with the, as an instructor, but he's going to take the blood out of you. But uh, we, we do give something. It is uh, a kind of, uh, a, a kind of a sacrifice. It is a sacrifice. It is a giving of one in order to uh, be a better Martyr, or what the word really means is witness. That's what martyr means in, in Greek, martyr. In Greek is the same in Spanish, it just means witness. And it's interesting to tie it into what we hear in the letter of St. James of sin. The one who fails to do what is right. That's kind of according to St. James, that's his definition of sin. And sometimes you hear there are many different definitions of sin. But this one seems to, to be very close to that Greek meaning of the word martyr. For the martyr, if it means witness, remember that in Greek, amartia is anti-witness, an anti-martyr. And that's the word for sin in Greek. When you're an anti-martyr or you're an anti-witness, that's the sinner. And so when we fail to do the good that we know we ought to do, or when we fail to give the witness that we know we have to give, well, that right there is sin. And so let us remember, especially in those things that we know in that moment that we may be called to give witness, which is never going to be the, uh, the, the, the most comfortable moment. It's not going to be the easiest moment. Perhaps there's a price to pay, maybe with blood or maybe without blood. 
maybe with reputation, maybe with respect, maybe with st social standing, maybe with so many different things. But if it costs you, then that is the witness, that is a way of participating and showing with your life your love of the Lord and faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.